Hello everyone, welcome to wisemapping.com. In this video I'm going to explain what a mind map actually is, how you can use it, and how you can use wise mapping to create better, more effective mind maps and how to share those with others. So first, what is a mind map? Well, let's first talk about normal way of note taking. So if you were in a business meeting or if you were in a classroom, you'd have your sheet of paper here and you'd be taking notes probably like this, right? You'd be doing this from top to bottom, left to right. That's the way we've always taken notes. Well, mind maps take that idea and they turn it on its side quite literally. So instead of working on a vertical uh, kind of drawing plane, you're working on a horizontal drawing plane. And instead of working from the top left down, you're working from the center of the page and you're working out in any direction that you feel like it. So a few things that are great with this. One, it's very conducive to creativity because you can literally create multiple, 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 multiple ideas in whatever direction you want and however many ideas you want without being stifled with room or with direction or with organization at this point. And number two, you can easily group things together that are alike. So that brings us to wise mapping wise mapping is a free internet program that helps you do this seamlessly okay so uh, I'm assuming that you have created a wise mapping account at wisemapping.com and that you've logged in and created a new mind map so the first thing I want to make you aware of is this shortcuts button up here you're gonna wanna check this out because this has all the keyboard shortcuts that you need to know to make uh, doing mind maps with wise mapping super simple and very easy and it is and, it, and it's already very easy because it's a very intuitive program so if I want to add a new topic or a new idea to the central topic so like I said on a mind map you start in the center put your central topic whatever it may be let's say that the central topic is fruit for me okay so I, I put that in the center and then uh, to create new subtopics or main topics about the central topic I just have to hit enter and start typing so banana strawberry raspberry lime orange okay so I have these ideas and then let's say that about the banana I wanted to create a few more ideas just about the banana I could do that very seamlessly I just move my mouse over whichever node these are all called s nodes they're all sub ideas of the central idea I just scroll my mouse over it click it now it's selected and then I hit on a Mac I hit control return to create a new subtopic I believe on Windows it's control return and you can create as many of these subtopics as you want so let's say I create a few of these uh, for a couple of these different fruits you can see how easy it is for me to move around I'm literally just using my arrow buttons and my keyboard here and let's just say I have I want to organize this a little bit differently I can just click hold and drag these options all around the mind map that way you can create as many ideas as possible and then go back and organize it you can also click out here in the white space click and drag or click and hold and you can move your entire mind map around very very handy so now the next thing I want to talk about is this toolbar up here I'm just gonna go through each button fairly quickly so that you can see the benefits that it adds to your mind maps because another thing about mind maps that is very handy is that you can add colors and images to help you remember things because because your mind your mind actually works in images it will remember and it will create images better and it will also be better than words and in a mind maps case if you add colors and images you'll be able to remember the mind map better so let's say with this uh, well actually let's go up here and explain a few of these buttons first this first button is the save button so if you want to save your mind map this is the print button if you want to print your mind map the undo button the redo button that's if you wanna if you just add let's say let's say I add another subtopic there if I didn't mean to do that I can come up here hit undo and it takes it away this is the zoom out and the zoom in if I want to zoom into my mind map if I want to zoom out and then we get to the node editing buttons these are all called nodes again and uh, let's say that I want to edit the orange node 
see how they're all in lines let's say that instead of it being on a line I want it to be in a circle well I come up here and this is called the topic shape button and I just click this little down arrow here and I come down and I can select a circle or a few other shapes say I want to select the circle okay now these other buttons are for adding a topic or deleting topics you can do that either with these buttons or with the keyboard shortcuts this is a topic border so if I want to change that blue border to let's say a white border I can do it right there this is the topic color so that off white color in there let's say that I want to change it oh, let's say let's change it to orange I can do that this is the add icon button if I want to add an icon to help me remember that topic I can come in here and do that this is kind of a stop sign looking one but I'm just adding it for uh, illustration purposes and you can also add multiple icons if you want if you have uh, and the idea here is to select an icon that has to directly do with this this uh, topic something that will help you remember that okay if you need to add a more linear note you can actually do that with with wise mapping you can just come up here click the add note button add your note click accept and there it is comes up very easy if you're sharing this with others and you want to add a link to a website or a different URL, you can do it with this Add Link button. If you want to create a relationship between two nodes, you can do that with this button. So select the node that you want to first create the relationship from, click that Relationship button up there, and then just drag over to and click to the other node that you want to create a relationship with. hope that made sense. You can also edit this line so it's more curved, it makes a more direct relationship there. These are uh, all have to do with editing the font, so you can edit the font type by clicking the down arrow. You can edit the text size. You can also make it bolded. You can make it italicized, and you can change the color of the text. Now, last but not least, there are these share buttons. This first share button is very handy if you want to email your mind map to other people. You just put in their email there. You click either can edit the mind map or can view the mind map. Then you click add. It adds them up here then you click accept and it automatically sends out an email to those people with a link to your mind map this world kind of looking icon here this is actually to publish it to the on um, on the internet so anyone can actually see it there this is an export button if you have a, a, a mind map software on your computer you can actually export your wise maps to that program on your computer or you can uh, export it just as an image and this is also the history button that kind of just brings up a history of all the edits and uh, all the times that people have edited this mind map so you can see who's worked on it and when. I hope that this has helped you and good luck in your mind mapping.